Look, I'm, um, I'm gonna tell you something because I think if you don't hear it from me, then you might not notice it in time for someone else. When I was a, a kid, I tried to take my own life. I mean, I was a, I was a child, I wasn't even 13. And I think on the outside, everything just, it seemed okay. You know, I was a, I was a smart kid, came from a loving family, but I was alone. So just floating in this gray space while everybody else was in black and white. And when the entire world just keeps telling you over and over again that people like you are not worthy, you just, you, eventually you start to believe it. You are so worthy. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. My story, it, it just, it isn't special. Statistics say that one in five trans kids attempt suicide. I was one of the lucky ones, you know, I, I had a lifeline. I had a, a coding club in Virginia. That is obviously basketball. I mean, without it, she's lost. But that only happens if she runs away and we can stop that. Yeah, well, um, running away obviously looks different for trans kids. So I had to create an equation that would factor in increased risks of homelessness and of suicide and hate crimes. And that doesn't even account for race or ability. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story. And if things ever get dark again, please know that I will be there for you. Like you have been there for me through all of this. <laughs>